The North African Campaign, fought between 1940 and 1943, was a pivotal theater of World War II. Britain's Desert Campaign, led by renowned generals, remains shrouded in controversy. This historical account delves into the complexities of the desert generals and their strategies. Background asterisk In June 1940, Italy declared war on Britain and France. The North African campaign began, with British forces facing Italian and German troops in Egypt and Libya. The Desert War was characterized by harsh conditions, tactical innovations, and leadership disputes. Key Desert Generals General Claude Ochenlek Asterisk, Commander-in-Chief of Middle East Command, Ochenlek faced criticism for cautious tactics. General Bernard Montgomery Asterisk, Victorious at El Alamein, Montgomery's leadership style sparked debate. General Archibald Wavell Asterisk, Initial commander of British forces, Wavell's strategic decisions remain contested. Controversies and challenges. Tactical disagreements asterisk, Ochin Lek and Montgomery clashed over aggressive versus cautious approaches. Logistical struggles asterisk, supply chain issues and equipment shortages hindered British efforts. Intelligence failures asterisk, underestimating Axis forces led to setbacks. Turning points. Battle of El Alamein, October-November 1942, Montgomery's victory marked a decisive shift. Operation Crusader, November 1941 January 1942, British forces retook Cyrenaica. Legacy The Desert Campaign's impact on World War II's outcome is undeniable. However, controversy surrounding the Desert General's decisions persists. Key questions were Ochinlek's cautious tactics justified? Did Montgomery's leadership style contribute to victory? How did logistical challenges shape the campaign? Conclusion Britain's desert campaign was marked by controversy, complexity, and ultimate victory. Understanding the Desert General's strategies and challenges provides valuable insight into the North African theater's significance.